heading to uh, race a 1994-04 style Mustang GT. I think it's the 2V. Um, I'm not sure what's done to it. I know next week he's getting it cammed and tuned, so I'll have no chance at that point. So we're gonna try to see if I can keep up with it as is now. I think stock, they're 260 horse, 305 foot-pounds of torque. I'm assuming it's not stock. He's probably got like intake and basic mods, exhaust. Now we're gonna try to get a launch, first gear roll, second gear roll, third gear roll, and that'll be that. So here goes. Oh, let's give it a roll first, and if I win, then we'll launch it. All right. <laughs> like 40 kilometers an hour yeah and then you yell out one two three okay. and we'll go on three okay okay one, two, try her again i think she grinded there all right, we'll try her again. Going that way. Okay. We'll have to go on the highway. Is that in the third? Yeah. Holy fuck. Highway. I'm gonna try that again once he's cammed and tuned. So it was a straight pipe and intake that he had on it. And uh, yeah, it worked pretty good. But he was a cool guy, he was a good sport about it. Said I didn't do too bad for a grandpa car, but gotta love the Acura. Even though it's not the fastest, it's still, still fun for what it is. Obviously, I know I wouldn't uh, beat a 2015 or 2011 and up with the 5 liter, but I'd still like to try to see the difference. Maybe someday I'll get a run against those. So I'm thinking about renting the 2018 Mustang, the 10-speed automatic. I guess I can rent one for 150 bucks for the day. And if you look at my previous videos where I lose by bus lengths to that prelude um, I'm gonna try to get a revenge match against them with that thing see if we can win and uh, I think that would be a good run so comment down below if you'd like to see that and then I will go and I'll spend the 150 for a day of fun on the 5 liter 2018 so if you enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Downhill, third gear pull.